again and welcome back to FFL Boss Tutorials. Today we're going to be covering how to remove a firearm that was accidentally acquired. The way to do this is first of all we need to go to the acquisitions page. Once we're here on the acquisitions page let's pull up one of these transactions and let's say we're going to remove JKL201. So the first thing first I want to come over to the upper right hand corner of that particular item and there's an X there. If you don't see an X, it is because you don't have the correct permissions to remove a firearm from the system. So let's go ahead and click delete. Now let's scroll down to the bottom and make sure that we save that acquisition with the new data. I'm not gonna put any notes into the bound book at this point, but you can if you'd like. Maybe you could put mistaken acquisition. Okay, so the next step, now that we've removed that firearm from an acquisition, it is no longer attached to a transaction. So if I come into my products and firearms and I cut and paste, or just simply type that serial number in, you'll see here that that line item shows up and now my status is never acquired. That status is required in order for you to do anything that would remove that item from the system. So basically what that would mean is that that firearm is not attached to another transaction, therefore it's kind of basically sitting in limbo. Once we've done that, we can go to edit product. And as you can see now that we've removed that firearm from an acquisition and its status is never acquired, we now have this that pops up. And you can go ahead and delete it from the system. Once you click on delete, that is gone. I can come back up here and cut and paste that serial number in here. And you see that the item no longer shows up. Problem solved. And that is how to remove a mistaken acquisition from your system in FFL Boss. Once again, thank you very much for using FFL Boss, your FFL software provider.